The next part is taking off this bezel piece along this edge. Um, to do that, there's some screws on the back side. So I like to protect the trim with the towel here, the desk. Take our T20. We're gonna get this one, this one, two, three, four, five, six screws along the perimeter here. This little guy can get caught up on this piece here, so I like to push him through like that. And then we're gonna kind of lift on the metal frame here. Be careful that you don't drop anything. Just like that. Set this somewhere safe where it won't get scratched. And we have the actual MCU. Same thing, put it on the towel. We take our 25. We've got same thing around the perimeter. Two, two four, six, eight, ten. 12 total screws. Alrighty. So now, the screen is ready to come out, but we've got a bunch of cables in there that we need to unplug before coming out. And right now we've got all the screws out, so it's vulnerable. Make sure we've got our fingers holding the screen in place so that it don't fall like that, see? And then I put it up against my belly. And then, if it doesn't fall out initially, you can always kind of coerce it out. Just make sure you don't get any cables. These LCD cables up top, and the sides, all that are all vulnerable as well. Make sure you don't get any of those. Alrighty. Now, I kind of shimmy her out. Rest it here, make sure it's all within your reach like this. And then I take out, there's a little clip, clippy with the fingernail. Gently remove that. This one right here has a lift, lift latch. It latches up like that and then you pull straight like that. Here's a pretty tough little clip here. Just kind of press down hard and pulls out like that. And then make sure the screen don't get damaged. Put it in our fancy Gruber stand here. And then we'll lay our display safely on the towel. And next is the Tegra board. This is the Tegra board right here, which has the EMMC flash chip on it. To get to it, we're going to need to remove this CPU fan cable. Sometimes a good old pick will do it. This one's, there we go. And so now, we're gonna remove these screws. I start with this one. This is the T8. And sometimes the little motherboard standoffs do spin when you try to remove the screw. And if, if it does that to you, you can kind of stick a pair of needle nose in there, thin pair of needle nose to keep it from spinning. Next is our T6s. Now that we've got our screws out, the card kind of goes up at an angle and then out of the slot. Like, just pull it out as one unit. And this heat shield right here kind of slides off this way. And then we've got some uh, hex key inside of here. We use a two millimeter hex key to remove the heat sink, which is held by these two screws and some springs and nuts on the back. And then turn. And 
I'm just kind of holding the nut in place so that it uh, threads out the hole here. Then I put my nut back on here. And just to get it started here. There we go. And now, let me lift up. Here's the thermal material. And here's the Tegra chip right here. And the EMMC flash is actually this guy right here. This is the one that dies on people and causes the black screen issues. 